Hey guys, it's Lucas here, and I just wanted to talk about something today. I didn't know what, so I asked my good friend Rusty, Brett, what should I talk about? He was like, I don't know. Started playing some YouTube, so I left the Discord and decided to talk about something. Then I was, you know, watching some scares, and I'm like, I'm gonna do YouTube drama as a topic for today. You should see some Overwatch gameplay in the background. I had a pretty good uh, round of 1v1s because I wanted to, you know, record something. And I got lucky, got in with this potato man who's <laughs> he's just so bad. I just wrecked the dude. But, like, my Ana gameplay at the end was pretty freaking potato, so just enjoy it. But anyway, so... I... So, YouTube drama channels. <laughs> They're interesting. Some people are like, YouTube drama is terrible. It shouldn't exist. It's it's for faggots. Keemstar and Scarce are just mean dudes. Um, I'm... <laughs> but I'm just sitting here like, is it seriously that much the, the bigger problem? Like, you can... I get it. It's kind of annoying. Some it can be sometimes kind of annoying when you're when one of the YouTubers you care about like just keeps on going on and on about it. Personally, I think that makes it interesting when something dramatic like that happens. You know, I like to like read up on it and see what's going on and follow the situation. Makes it it's I think it's pretty cool. YouTube drama definitely has its place, but there's all but there's definitely YouTube drama done right, and then there's YouTube drama done wrong. Here's, here's my opinion. When something happens and it's big, like two YouTubers get into a big argument. Well, fine, okay, that's cool. Or when something big happens on YouTube or YouTube makes a stupid decision. Well, then, yeah, YouTube drama makes sense and it's interesting, it's cool. But when you got some faggot who's going around trying to cause drama and, you know, just being a giant jerk... <coughs> Keemstar and uh, just being a dick well it's a bit it's a bit annoying and you're like why why would you do this like seriously do you really want attention that badly and the thing is yes they want attention that badly because they're gonna get paid they could get that sweet money 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 swag money swag money and they're gonna take that money and drain it into a reservoir so they can make more money. Yeah. But it's honestly just sad that people are just. The YouTube drama channels, they aren't evil people. Like, Scarce, I watch Scarce every day, honestly. I love watching Scarce. He's, he's, he's pretty great. But freaking Keemstar. Just, just, just what a dipshit, dude. Just. Yeah, he, he can go in himself. I have no respect for Keemstar. He is just scummy. And some of these people that just want to cause drama, like Idubs and his whole content copy, was like, okay, fine, I get it, you want to call people out. But jeez, man, you ever really go that far? Like, he's being a bit harsh and hella nitpicky. Like, ugh. I feel like the the content cop series was just made to cause drama, and I don't think that's okay. Now you might say, what about Leafy? Well, I don't think Leafy tries to cause drama. Like, he doesn't mean to witch hunt people. He, his videos are all jokes. You could say the content cop videos are jokes, too. But I feel like they're more serious, and Le Leafy just jokes around a lot more. Cause, and honestly, I prefer the Leafy's rants much more to items content cops. But yeah, overall, I just think YouTube drama has its place, but I don't think it's for everyone, and I don't think it's always welcome. Well, that's my opinion. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe. And I, I really proud myself one thank for subscribers. God damn it! Whatever, like and subscribe if you want to, or don't, I don't care, have a good day. That was a stupid way to end the video.